Hey everyone, this is Blaze Gonzalez welcoming you to another video editing tutorial and this time you can use either Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro. There is no difference in difficulty in using any of these software for this project but I will show you how to do the effect using the two of them. So for this project you're going to need two shots. The first one is the above shot where you film yourself sliding the image of an object out of a screen. The other shot is the below shot. This is where you shoot yourself sliding the actual object out of the screen, like so. When you film these shots, make sure that you are using a tripod because we're going to need them to be as stable and similar to each other as possible. Okay, now let's head on to Adobe After Effects first. Open up Adobe After Effects and create a new project. Drag your shots onto the project file manager and then drag the above shot onto the new composition button. This will put your above shot onto the timeline of a new composition. Now is where the magic happens. Select the pen tool and draw a decent mask around the device but not entirely. Just enough so that later the actual object from the below shot will not be shown. What we just did is mask the video. This is similar to cropping a photo but in an irregular shape. We'll see the actual effect of what we just did once we drop the below shot under the above shot. So we're going to do that now. There. Okay, once we play back the video, we'll see that the effect is already there. Once we put it right here, as you can see. Yeah, it goes out like that. We're going to adjust it a bit. First, we make sure that the timing of when we slide the image out of the screen on the above shot is aligned with the time that we slide the actual photo from the below shot. So I slide the image about right here. It slides like that. So from here, oh, you can see that you can see the below shot uh, bleeding from the top of the laptop, so we're going to adjust the mask a bit from right, right there. Like so, so we don't see it anymore. Like that. Okay. Back to finding the time. So you slide the image right here, like that. But it doesn't come out yet, so it needs to come earlier. A little earlier like that all right okay so this should work okay yeah that's perfect okay once you think it's good we're now going to adjust the feather on the mask on the above shot so that it looks less artificial so go down here on masks click this mask and mask feather just adjust it Increase it a little bit so that it doesn't look like there's a mask once we play back. Let's check it again. Oh uh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And we're done. That's actually it. We just made the effect in a few, under a few minutes in Adobe After Effects. How about we do it in Adobe Premiere Pro? This is going to be extremely similar to what we just did in After Effects. Let's open it up and create a new project. Drag the videos onto the project file manager and then drag the above shot onto the timeline. Now select the above layer on the timeline and then under opacity in the effects control panel, select the pen tool, then let's draw a mask like how we did in Adobe After Effects.
Move the above shot one row up, then drag the below shot under the above shot. Again, we are going to need to adjust it so that the timing is correct. Once you're satisfied, select the above layer and then under the mask, in mask feather, increase the feather until it looks less artificial. Okay, that looks fine. There you have it. We just did a quick Zack King effect in just under a few minutes. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe and bell button so that you get notified for future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.